Welcome to the Potter training video on the PSN 1000 Intelligent Power Supply. Some of the main features of the PSN 1000 Intelligent Power Supply are the built-in isolated P-Link repeater, a total of 10 amps of power, six independently programmable Class V NAC circuits, two fully mappable dry contact inputs, adjustable EOL values ranging from 2 to 27K, as well as system-wide quadrasync. The enclosure is made of 16-gauge sheet metal and, like all electronics, should be mounted on an interior wall so the operating temperature and humidity are more easily controlled. The standard PSN 1000 enclosure is approximately 17 by 16 by 3 inches deep. There is no room in this enclosure to mount P-Link accessory cards. The PSN 1000E has an expanded enclosure that's approximately 26 by 17 and a half by 3 and 3 quarter inches deep. The expanded enclosure has room to mount six stacker bracket P-Link cards. The AC power is field selectable for either 120 or 240 VAC. The hot or black wire will land on the terminal labeled B. The neutral or white wire on the terminal labeled W. And the ground or green wire on the terminal labeled G. The PSN 1000 can house 8 or 18 amp hour batteries, but is not deep enough to house 12. The charging circuit has the same characteristics as the control panels, 27 volts DC with a max load of 55 amp hours of batteries. The PSN 1000 uses the same bulk power board as Potter's conventional power supplies. When used on a conventional power supply, these relays are very useful for monitoring, but when on an intelligent power supply, trouble conditions are communicated over the P-Link. On the intelligent power supply, these relays become system-wide trouble indicators. The PCB on the right side is where the intelligence for these power supplies resides. Along the bottom is the terminal block where all wiring connections are made, and on the upper right side is the five position dip switch that we will use to set the power supply's P-Link address. Along the bottom are the main wiring terminals. On the left side are two fully mappable dry contact monitoring inputs labeled I1 and I2, which can only be wired as Class B. To the right are the six Class B or three Class A NAC outputs rated at 3 amps each. Next to the NAC outputs is the isolated P-Link repeater, which supports both Class A and B wiring. This isolated P-Link repeater provides an additional 1 amp of power, allowing the repeated circuit to extend an additional 6,500 feet. On the far right side of the PCB is the incoming P-Link from the control panel or another isolated P-Link repeater. For additional questions about Potter products, please contact technical support at the phone number or email address shown on the screen. And as always, don't forget to follow us on social media.